Good morning. Here we whoa, are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? No, we're not. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to do the voiceover uh, and record uh, the instructions on what's going on. And we don't have to listen to all that noise and the wind noise. And you can concentrate on pedalling and avoiding the holes and the puddles. So hopefully be a little bit easy to watch um, without having to hear me, you, puffing and huffing all the way around the course. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds right, like a plan. First off, when you arrive at the park, you're going up to the steps to the cafe. Um, you are not entering the central field. In fact, most of the new course, um, you won't be walking on any grass at all, only until the very, very end. So come up here. Um, over by the car parking machines where you'll see the volunteer board, maybe, and the scanning area. Um, that's where the scanners will be when you're finished. So you're dropping your, your bags and your coats and refreshments, whatever, up here. Obviously any valuables are left at your own risk. Wave at your friends, encourage them to come up here as well, and then drop your bag and your coat here. Right, once you've uh, dropped your bag and your coat off, in the uh, this area um, if you're a first timer or you're a tourist first time to the park especially first time on this win new winter course for 2021 um, hang around this area and there'll be a first time runners brief um, where you'll get an outline of the course um, where to go where the scanning is going to be where the finish is going to be and so on um, if you have run this course before then follow this path down the left hand side down towards the picnic area uh, and arrange yourselves at the sort of the the triangular pointy bit. Right, this is the new start area. We're looking backwards. The run brief will probably be over here. You'll all be standing on this path here that I'm walking along. That oak bench on the right is the actual start. So if we can have the faster park runners at the front, and if you're walking or you've got dogs at the back. Right, here we go. This is the new start by the oak bench. So hopefully you've heard three, two, one, go. Uh, as always, keep left. Dogs on a short controlled lead, short being 1.2 meters. Children should be kept within arm's reach. This first start section is going to be all a little bit busy. So if you can all start within your uh, time bands would be good. So if you're fast, start up front. If you're with dogs or if you're planning on walking or jogging, start further to the back so you should be familiar with this section of the the path this is the same as the summer course um there will be puddles and obviously through the winter the puddles will be bigger try not hold everybody out because whilst you tippy toe around them oh i should warn you there will be sections of this video where it goes a little bit wobbly like that where i forgot to start my garmin or where I'm changing hands because I've lost all sensation in my fingers. Now, this is a very different winter course. So we'll slow it down at this section. So you will all be familiar, whether it's summer course or winter course, that you're coming up to Marshall A. Uh, so this is Marshall B, and you will not be crossing the grassy section here. You will be going straight on, heading south along the Western Brideway, obviously paying close heed and attention to friendly Rottweilers on the course there. Uh, so this path, for those that have not run it, can get a little bit gnarly, but the park rangers have done a lovely job, as well as the, the path around the back of the hills maintaining it. It's looking lovely. It's looking pretty good. But obviously, this is a country park. It will have muddy sections. So um, just be wary of that. Wear appropriate footwear. Uh, so this is for those getting their bearings. This is now the bottom of the play trail. And we're not planning on having a marshal here. We might have some cones to remind you to go straight on. And we're coming up to the double back bridge. Now, as always with both the, the old winter course and the summer course, you're turning right here. But unlike um, those courses, you'll be only doing that once. And the next time you come up to that bridge, you're going straight on. All will become clearer when we come around to that again. So... We're coming up to the boggy transition, and again, on the summer course, you cut across the grass to the left. And for those that are familiar on our winter course, as with our old winter course, we're going straight on. So we're going straight on here. This takes you on the wide path, and trust me, underneath all those leaves, there are um, there is a path, 
<laughs> I promise. Um, and we're going around, and this leads on to the bottom of the lakes. Excuse my glove at the top of the camera there, uh, where that other path joins from the left. Unlikely we'll be seeing many fishermen along the bottom here. Uh, we're just approaching the Tesco's junction. So as you see the Tesco's junction on the right, they're whizzing past. You're not going to Tesco's, you're going straight on. Uh, this is now going around the edge here. At this junction, you're turning left. Let's slow this camera down a little bit as we approach this leaving the lakes marshal. So if you've got this marshal position, after you see the tail walker go through for the first time, that's it. We only run this section of the course now once. This is not part of the two lap course. So um, again, being mindful of the other park users. Right, this is the big yellow frog. Now, again, this is where we will run straight across here as you do normally. But the next time you see the big yellow frog, you'll be actually coming from a different direction. So I'll explain that in a second. But we'll whiz along here. And as like the, um, in fact, in completely opposite to the, the summer course, you are not cutting across the grass here on the left. You're following the path onwards like we do on our old winter course. So past the sound tower there. Ignore some of the signs you're seeing on this on this video, by the way. These are from the uh, the junior park run. Our signs will be slightly different. Mind the, uh, the tree roots on the left-hand side of that corner there. And as we slow down here, so this is coming up to the service road. Um, straight on is the finish funnel. But obviously, we've got a bit further to go. So we're following this round to the left. Um, you can take a racing line round on the service road if you like, but please be mindful of any vehicles that may be on the roads. Um, the park rangers and the cafe will be told that this is uh, a closed service road, uh, unless there's a requirements for vehicles, emergency vehicles. And be wary of pedestrians crossing this section here as well. So obviously, as with the, the whole course, you don't have any priority over other park users. It's not a race. This is not an organised race, so you don't be, uh, don't get the right to be pushing people out of the way or anything like that. Uh, this section here is a right-left turn, um, so be again be wary of other park users as you come around this corner and on to the left and the, the next right. Um, again, some spectacular puddles in this section of the uh, of the road there. Um, and as we come around this corner, again, we're going to repeat this section again uh, as we did shortly after the start. So we'll speed that up again. So again, lots of good puddles going around here and Len's hands are freezing cold and he's swapping hands again. So we're going around here. Um, obviously, quick reminder on this dog dog poo bin corner you're not cutting across the grass please stick to the path one of the nice things about this new winter course is there is no grass um, on any of this course it's all on track um, there's no slippy slidey sections um, so all being well this will be excellent for maintaining uh, the integrity of the park um, and as always um, like we did for the first time um, when we get up to this section here we are going straight on um, so just to make sure you're clear, we're not cutting across this grassy section. This can get really, really muddy through the, the winter period, so we won't be using that at all, probably until about May, I reckon, next year. So again, heading south along the Western Bridleway. Um, lots of um, leaves on the ground, lots of branches. Be, be very wary uh, through the winter months. There could be all sorts of debris on the ground. Um, you know, if it it would be nice if you took a mow to move it to one side if you do see any. Um, it's a good, uh, good, nice park run citizenship thing you should be doing. Um, oh, nearly got that dog. Um, end of the play trail again. Now, when we come to the bridge again, we are now going straight on at the bridge. There should be a very good sign at this bridge that says something like lap one to the right, and lap two and finish straight on. When you go straight on, for those that have never run along this section, you will come to the big yellow frog. Check that out. Get to the big yellow frog. There'll be a marshal here and a nice left arrow as well. You're turning left at the big yellow frog. And this is now, hopefully you're now under 500 meters uh, to the finish. So we're running along here. You're getting to uh, this section again. And as always with the summer course, you're not cutting to the left and finishing in the big field. You're obviously finishing up where I pointed out. So we're going to go further along this track. Um, along here through the Enchanted Forest. Why is it the Enchanted Forest? Because it's got a carved tree fairy in the middle of it. Try not run people over as you come through. 
and then you you come across the service road here and as always be wary of any vehicles on there but there shouldn't be and then as you cross the edge of here about there that's where your timekeepers will be and this is the finish funnel finish funnel is 30 meters long it'll be straight um, obviously go steady through here maintain order and try and maintain a nice social distance and then over there by the cafe and the big green car parking sign will be where scanning is so here we are use your imagination there's a finish funnel there nice little panning shot with the seagull um, so you have your finish token and you're walking this way there will be some cones and some nice little subtle signs saying things like this way to scanning so it should be fairly obvious that you're walking this way with your finish token to get it scanned if you don't want a time leave your token with the finish tokens person don't take it home be mindful of your other park runners who might be whizzing through here as you cross so be very very careful as you're there crossing and you make your way up the stairs here to the scanners who will be nestled nice and cozy and warm in the corner probably here near where the car parking machines are cunning out of the wind so get yourself scanned pick up your bag and your coat and you're sorted